Well, hello there, YouTube. You'll notice that sitting right there, what normally sits right there, is a spider. I took the uh, spider on its final voyage, the 2015 anyway, for its final voyage today. And because <laughs> the weather was turning all bad, and uh, I got a ride back from the Vancouver store to the Longview store, and I just rode in the cage back with Kelly. And uh, she's looking at the weather, and it looks like it's supposed to be nice most of next week. So I may have jumped the gun on this thing. But I am going to ride this tomorrow. And where that little hole is, and where that little hole is, is going to be soft lowers. These things aren't exactly cheap. Come on, camera. You can do it. There you go. $89.95. Now I'm not I'm doing this with a oh with a handheld camera. <laughs> it's these reflectors because it can uh, block reflectors on certain bikes. They want you to stick these on the front of the front fender. Not happening. But uh these are uh are lowers. And uh, when they're on, like say this is the right hand side, easiest thing in the world to put on. I can't do it with one hand. But this will be on like this, and you'll actually have a little zipper with a little um, pouch inside there. And I'll have this on the front. So because I can't do this with one hand, let me just slip these on right quick, and uh, we'll be right back. So see you here in just a second. Okay, so these are essentially just like winter fronts for your uh, for your Harley. Let's see, that'll block all that wind as you're driving down the road. It'll knock all that wind off of your feet. You probably see it better from this side, but it might be darker. Let's see, there's your line of line of sight as you're riding down the road. But yeah, that'll block all that wind off my uh, my feet and stuff. And I can, you know, kind of channel things a little bit more by turning these slightly. And that'll help funnel. Because this, if you leave it all the way out, it rolls. But if you just slightly turn those things in, it'll create a almost a down action that goes away from you. But, uh, I'll tell you one thing, these wings are worth their weight in gold. So between the uh, the little Harley, what they call soft lowers, and the nice thing is there's just one clip, just a quick clip, quick release, and they just slide right off, and you can fold them up like a rain suit and stick them in your saddlebags if you don't, don't want to use them. Then you got the little pocket, and it's a good size pocket. You can put a bunch of junk in there. I don't think I would use them pockets, maybe on a trip or something. What amazes me is the exhaust. The exhaust doesn't melt those. And I asked about that and they go, no. He goes, believe it or not. I mean, that's a tight fit. I mean, my finger barely goes through there. And uh, the other guy at work has a guy I put a, a, a dry belt on his uh, Road King, or Road Glide, I'm sorry, um, had him on there, the same set. And he goes, oh man, in the winter time, these things are worth their weight in gold. And uh, he goes, yeah, and he goes, I was afraid that my pipes were going to burn them, but it doesn't. Which seems kind of odd to me, but there we are. Some wintertime adage. And these are... Um, reflective as well so is the is the harley emblem so and see i don't have to put a reflector on my fender so there we are something to keep me just a little warmer on the way to work and it is cold out there tonight man i don't know what the temperature is but it's crazy cold you know it's messed up you know it's really messed up because I've only had this thing how long now? 
Look at the mileage on it. Damn. I've racked some miles up on this old gal. For the short amount of time I've had it. But I sure love it. So, there we are. Some soft lowers. And these things, good lord, they fit. They go way back. They'll fit anything. Road kings, road glides. Older electric glides without, without lowers and whatnot. So, anyway, these things are pretty universal. And the, you know, Harley's got that weird kind of arch to their engine guard now. And that stands out more than ever now. And the zippers on the side, their only purpose is to go around um, highway pegs. If you had highway pegs on, then you just run the zippers to the pegs. That's their only purpose. It doesn't help with installing or, or anything like that. I mean, they just literally slip on, wrap around the engine or the frame, and clip them down. Pretty cool. I got this new handle for the camera today too. I don't know if I can get that in there where you can see it. See that? It's this five inch um, aluminum and it's knurled and it gives me something to hold the camera with. Oh, hello YouTube. <laughs> it's space detecting me. But uh, you guys want to see my mug with my glasses on? We're out here for the motorcycle, not me. So that's that. I'm sure all you guys with these probably have those on there. <laughs> but I've never put them on. They look, uh, they're not the best look, but when it's cold out, who, uh, what the hell have we got there? Oh, bug dust. Some kind of dust. So I'll be riding this tomorrow because, well, that was my plan to drop the spider off today instead of Friday. But now it looks like Saturday's going to be 0% chance of rain. But either way, that'll give me a good chance to, uh, to try these things out. And uh, I'll be vlogging and I'll let you know what I find. So, oh, before I bail, I just released a video today um, about the, the uh, F3T, the touring models that they come out with. And I told you a story about stealing a knife when I was a wee little kid, like 10 or 11 years old. This is the knife. Knife. It's an Uncle Henry. I still have this thing. If I can get the camera to focus on it, let's get out of the way so we can. Camera? Any day now would be fantastic. Seriously? You have nothing in front of you to prevent you from focusing. I have to do it manually here. There we are. She's still in great shape. And uh, I never used it a whole bunch, so the the blades and stuff are all still nice and tight. Well, I was cut my or <laughs> but they are nice and tight too, because I uh, I didn't uh, didn't use it a whole bunch. But that's that knife. All these years later, I was going to put that in that video and I didn't realize that I got distracted once I got to work and never did it until, uh, <laughs> until I, I did the video and I went, oh man, I forgot the, to show the knife, pull it out of my drawer and show it. It was just an old Uncle Henry. You can still buy them. They still look very similar to this. I always... Whenever I go through any kind of sporting goods thing, I always look at knives and stuff, and I'll see these. They don't look like they're built to the same quality anymore. But, uh, this is it. The one in the story. I won't tell you how many years ago that was. <laughs> A long time ago. But, it stays in my toolbox. I don't know why I keep it in the toolbox, I just, I do. It's my, my choice of places to keep it for some reason. I am liable to lose it in something here at home. And that's where it's been. Well, I've I've had it in there since I was working at Portland Honda. So it's been in there since 85. 
So, long time. Anyway, that's the knife. So, with uh, that and the motorcycle, I'm going to bail out. This is eight minutes. Plus the beginning. <laughs> so, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, I, like I say, I'll be vlogging on the way to work tomorrow, so I'll report on how how these things work. And hopefully it's not all foggy, you know, wipe my motorcycle out. But uh, it sure saddens me having a hole over there where my spider sits all the time. But the 2016 will be here soon, and we'll just we'll start over with another one. So, you know, it's not like it's gone forever. It'll just get replaced with a new one. And uh, that'll be it. So... Speaking of that'll be it, that will be it. I'm going to roll out on you guys. So uh, we'll talk to you later and uh, we'll vlog on the way to work tomorrow and I'll come up with whatever. So we'll see you. That got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Amazing. I've already commented to a couple people about how, what a lesson learned, you know. Valuable lesson. It's a... Uh, Changed me as a person that knife. That was a very smart old man to make me keep this knife Pretty scary, but anyway, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye now